what happens when you paint the ugliest thing that you possibly can and then have to work with it to create something else. That's what we did in Healing Heart this month. Everybody painted the ugliest thing that they could imagine. And then I had them transform their painting. They had to grow from the ugliness without completely covering it up, but really working with what was there and allowing that to inform the next thing. Find out why we painted the ugliest thing we possibly could to begin with, how we transformed it, what the benefits were of working in this way, how mine and several other ladies from the groups turned out, and especially why you should do it too. I'm Michelle Baker. I have my master's in art therapy and I own Embodied Art Studio. And in all the time that I've been making art with people in classes or in art therapy, I have never once had anybody purposefully try to make something ugly. And so I was really intrigued by what would happen. Especially in art, we are always trying to create something beautiful, aren't we? And probably the biggest fear that we have is that it will turn out ugly. So to instead steer in that direction was something that intrigued me and could only open up doors that otherwise wouldn't be available. I didn't realize this at first, but when I named my ugliness, right? To me, ugly was a uh, blah. There was nothing there. There was nothing to work with. That is a reverse of what I want. What I'm, I'm looking for in a partner in life or in, in creativity is just something to jump off of and co-create with. And that's what I love. I love getting excited and, you know, creating things with people or in art. So my ugly painting really helped me see with clarity what is most important to me in a new way, a way that I never would have named um, before in those terms. And it also helped to do the ugly painting in Healing Heart so that I saw how every other woman made ugly for herself and that they were so different. And that also helped me realize that my ugly is about me, right? Um, because even in my mind, I thought that everybody's ugly paintings would turn out the same. I was actually almost sure that that would happen. And so when I looked around the room and saw this wide variety of, of ugly, it really helped me see that it was about me more than it was about anything else. I knew that I wanted to make my ugly painting into a portrait of myself. And I was interested in the exercise of that, of creating a Michelle from ugliness. Because my painting was already the ugliest thing I could possibly imagine, I had no fear in diving in. So there was a lot of freedom involved with creating this painting, right? Like it couldn't get any worse than it already is. I just never would have painted this way. This is really not my style at all. But because I started with something ugly, there's really no stakes, right? There is nothing to lose from going for it. And, and I don't ever paint with a palette knife. I tend to be a really blendy painter and like things to be smooth. And then here I am just smearing some paint on with a palette knife. And that was one of the coolest things about this assignment is that it really freed me up to just do something and that it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if it turns out good or not. And then the result is that I created this portrait that I am super intrigued by because she has this depth. She's got the deep, dark, greenish, ugly shades to her, and she has some more beautiful tones as well. And they're working together. They're not perfectly blended or anything, and that makes her intriguing. Number one, I painted a painting that I am fascinated by and intrigued by. Number two, I painted in a way that I never do. I used the palette knife and I also busted this portrait out in about 45 minutes. So instead of the Michelle who tends to overwork things and maybe overcomplicate things, I just 
went with it and let something happen. And third, I feel proud of myself because I have been able to bring in both sides. I've brought some beauty in and I've brought the ugliness in and allowed them to coexist in a painting in a way that feels really satisfying to me. And fourth, I feel proud of myself for doing this transformative painting because it was a way to see myself that I've never approached before. It's like I found this weird back door into who I am through ugliness. And it was incredibly useful to have my values shine so brightly back at me. And what I would love from you right now is to comment on what you think about this painting. Give me a reflection. It's okay if you think it's ugly because that was the point to begin with. Um, but I'd love to hear any other thoughts that you have as well. I love doing Healing Heart because we get to see so many different perspectives all within uh, the theme that we're focused on for the month. And maybe never before as much as with the ugly topic was I so surprised by the variety of what was in the room. And then wondering how everybody was going to transform their painting. Lark's version of ugly had to do with monotony and uh, overwhelm. There's all these dots and there's just this feeling of <sighs> intensity and chaos and overwhelm was something that was very ugly to her. And then uh, she transformed it in this amazing way. She ended up covering parts of the chaos over and creating windows so that she placed herself on the inside of a house and it's cozy with a nice chair and a cup of tea and the chaos and the overwhelm and the monotony is outside the window. She added in boundaries, right? The walls and the windows to separate herself that allowed the chaos and the thing that was so ugly to her on the first night to become a show, something to watch, right? Something to observe from your comfy chair. Vicky's painting of anger and rage between people was one of the surprising twists on ugly that I did not expect. And it was interesting. She I would say sort of easily transformed her painting without changing the figures at all. She was able to soften the experience and it's not about anything different. The two people are still angry at each other, but there's love between them and they're working on communicating in a way that fosters their relationship and their love without it being that rage that she had before that really keeps people apart, keeps them feeling so separate. Some of the words, the like energy coming out of their mouths drops down. It's like when you're in a struggle, in an argument with someone you love, you might not say everything that is on the tip of your tongue. You might let some of it go. I love that wisdom coming through in her painting. Ooh, Greta's was such a challenge to transform, right? She had the, the fakeness, the, um, the one-dimensional way that uh, our culture or we as people can look at things like love or harmony or peace, right? Um, and so she had this bubbly, pink, hearty painting that she had to transform. And so what she ended up doing just blew me away. She, in this, in this transformation, she was able to convey the complexity of love and relationship and all the different things that go into it and the different moments that make up the felt sense of loving somebody. Oh. This month's Healing Heart exercise, I just loved it. Number one, painting something ugly freed us all up. We all painted differently than we normally do, 
because the intention was so different and there was a lot of freedom and just letting go of that expectation that it has to look a certain way and it has to be beautiful. Yeah. In painting differently, we got to surprise ourselves by what came through. And that is an amazing personal growth thing, if you ever ask me, is to surprise yourself. I also can say pretty boldly now that if you create the ugliest thing you possibly can, it's really going to reflect what you care most about, but in the reverse, right? So what you end up painting is going to be ugh, the opposite of what you most care about and most value. So that's one reason that you should definitely do the ugly painting exercise for yourself. Personality. This exercise really allows it to all come together in the way that life is, right? The truth of life is that it's all of it. It's the dark and the light. It's the ugly and the beautiful. And really, I think it, it, it caused us to create super interesting and dynamic paintings, which is really just a side bonus. So if you haven't done it already, I'm going to challenge you again to do this ugly painting exercise. I've made it super easy for you because I have a free guide that will take you through it. Not because you can't go home and paint something ugly by yourself. I know that you can, but I want to offer the intention setting and the reflection questions so that you get the most out of it for yourself, what this is meaning for you and what it says about you. And next month in Healing Heart, we're going to focus on the topic of receiving. This is actually a really important topic for women because we have a lot of wounding in the feminine. Venus. feminine. So this is going to be a great topic for all my ladies. Stay with us for next time.